So just continuing on from the passing, in the hip control pass. Okay. Car gets on the shoulder, gets wrist control. Okay, but this time, okay, if you're really smart, you're gonna go to north side. You're just gonna keep walking to north side. Okay, waiting him. But he's got my grip. I'm gonna destroy the grip. Get under hooks, and then I can sprawl on him. So I need to change my strategy there. Instead of going just from when he passes to go to side control, he goes to north side. I can't keep that grip that we've been playing with this last few weeks. Yeah. There's a sip control pass. I get this, but let's just say car keeps going. Goes to the north side, destroys my grip, and then keeps waiting. So, uh, change my plan. So I'm here. As he's coming to the north side, I'm here. I bring my knees to my elbows, okay? And I make a frame. Just get off one second. So I'm actually doing this. So, um, so you can't put weight on me. So I need to make a frame with my knees and my elbows. So again, I come to here. Come on, so I bring my elbows to my knees. The car puts weight on me. He hasn't actually weighed on my body. Just a so look, from here, we get to here. Now I'm going to crisscross my hands. I'm going to put my left hand on his left ribs, right hand on the right ribs. Okay, and then I'm going to pick a side. Okay, and I'm going to use that to spin. Back to open the door. Okay, one more time. So, again, he does the pass, but this time he's smart, he goes to the north side. So I need to keep coming here. I can't let him put the weight on me. I bring my knees to my elbows. Okay, then I cross my hands. So I've got my left hand on his left leg, right hand on the right leg. Come here, okay, because there's weights on the frame that I've made. And then spin around. Okay, so that's my kind of north side. Just the north side. So, okay, right, guys. Passes. I can make control, but let's just say I've messed up and I have control because you read pummels on the wrist. It gets across I get side control. Yeah. My goal is to put him in the guard. My hip escaping. Right up. Okay, but let's just say he drains with the shoulder and then uh, he broke the okay, clip that takes away that escape because of this pressure. So there's only one way I can go, which is this way. So I'm going to use this forearm and the throat to create the space. Okay, just be careful when you bring this arm through. I'm going to transition to the turtle position. Just move back a bit, Carl. So when I go to turtle, I'm only going to be here a split second because you can get people that can be very good at attacking turtle. Okay, a lot of people play it with their elbows touching the knees. That position for yeah, And they've got their elbows on their knees. But again, there's space here. You know? And even if he brings it in a little bit, if I can get a toe in here, I can get my foot in and then I can get it. So you just have to be aware of that. So again, a good position. Or a good detail is I'm gonna put my elbows on the other side of the hips, like this. so. Okay. And I want to defend the neck by crossing my arms like this, and then I'm gonna put my foot. Okay. So that's the 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 detail of the turtle position. Again, you're only gonna be there a split second, right? But again, you want to make sure that your elbows on the inside of your hips, cross the hands, stop the chokes, and put your forehead on the mark. Just look at the pass. Passes, I make the mistake. Cross face. Yes, you know, I bridge to create the space. I bring this arm through. I immediately come to the position. Okay, you may be aware of where your opponent is. See the cars in the side right position here? Okay, the game changes if he has my back. Look at that in a minute. So I'm here, put my forehead on the mark. I'm just gonna plant my right foot out to the side. Be very careful here because you can get a hooking straight away there. Okay, I'm gonna shoot my left elbow through and my left shoulder. I'm gonna use this and all the way up. Come back to open the One more time. Position, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna create the space. I'll bring my right arm through. Come to turtle position. Okay, I love this one from the side. 
conscious look, and shoot this left shoulder through. And when I roll over this left shoulder, guys, watch my leg. I just don't roll over, I pendulum my leg all the way out. Going back and set my foot. Just do it from the pass. Pass the look. He's done the hip control pass, done everything we've covered here, here, but I've messed up. He really pummels him he gets the cross face. So a bridge, come all the way up. Here, so shoot. Instead of being in the side right position, cars here, okay, in the back position. Okay, I, I want you to relate this to. Um, again, when I'm here, my forehead should be in the mat, but I can't talk when I'm staring into the mat. Okay, so I want you to relate this to the roll sweep that we did. Okay, just the roll sweep we did from here. Um, off guard issues. Foot in. You see, like, come up underneath the leg, foot, come to my knees. Is this kind of similar? The position we're in now, only I thread this hand through. Look, here. Or up here, I'm doing this, and I threaded this hand through. And then I went for the roll sweep, bar, back, knee bar. So, do it from the same position. It's side control only. I'd be looking to get this hold on to this thing. And then roll over my left, and I'm back to the And I'm here. And that's all the stuff that we've linked. That's an option. We're going to teach you that now. You should be thinking about that. So, again, this turtle broke. If I'm attacking top turtle and I come to this position okay, and I break my knees in the middle, all I need is to do is hand, uh, grabs my leg, I know he's going to knee bar me, so I want to be strong. Okay, so again, this is just something you should be aware of, but if you have your knee in the middle and you're attacking the back and he grabs the back of your knee, he's going to hit the knee bar very, very soon in these positions. So, we're going to look at um, just another option. And then this cross, I come to the position, at the back, and here, so again, you have the option of reaching through and rolling over the shoulder. We're not going to do that. Okay, so from here, guys, I'm going to just turn over my right shoulder, get my left hip inside, cause left hip. Okay. And I'm going to use my right hand to scoop this leg. Okay. So I'm up to this position here. And again, recognize this position. Loads of things we can do from here. Okay. So, we talked about. I have 50 50. All things we've done before. Go back again. Yes, you're here. Um, he tries to run away, I have the knee bar, okay, he pulls the knee through, I have the calf crank. Skip again. So this is all stuff we've been doing this last month in the outside control. Free. Turtle. Okay. Put my right shoulder on the mat. I'm immediately grabbing this leg. Yeah. I can change my grip from being over to coming under. I can switch to X guard. Okay. I can switch to deep half guard, which we've been playing with. I'm doing my sit out sweep. So, many, many things, guys. Okay, 
just from this escape. So we're looking for just the escape, and then you can play around with all the different things that you can go for. Okay. and immediately I want to go for this leg to get my grip on it. Okay. And once I get to this position, you can do foot lock, 50, 50, even go back to your road sweep and stuff. So this is the same Okay. Yeah, I want to stay on top. I want to try and sweep them. So, I'm going to the right shoulder on the mat and get my left. As I get control of this leg, and I just keep moving them all the way over. I have the combat face. And then I can. Okay, again, one more time. You need to kind of do it in one movement. I'll break it down one more time. Start it slow. So, it's just. Getting to the same turtle position, going for the same move, but instead of stopping on my back, I just slow down a bit. My bridge, I cut the turtle. And we're here. Okay, so last time when we turned, we stayed on our back, right? I got this hook in and I got control of the leg. But I don't want to, and this time, I want to keep moving this way. Sweep them all the way so I can come up to get him on his back. And then once I've got my control, I mean, there's a foot lock there. Or fast, this is beautiful. Just use the momentum. Space the car wraps it up. Like bring this form over the top. Okay, so we'll this before, we're doing a lot of baboo stuff. So when I get to my safety position, I'm going to keep up. See with my knee is in his hip. I'm going to turn this foot. So movement. A lot of people will do this. So again, the character is take my elbow off his hip and just bring it over the top. Bring it down. Okay, now he hasn't got that same leverage. Okay, it's on my throat. So. so I'm here. This is driving in to make space. He does this. See this hand? Comes across to the shoulder. This hand on the hip comes underneath. Here. Okay. What I'm going to do is bridge. Okay. As I scoop my hips forward. Again, recognize this position. In the front headlock, last week, I'm going to show you all the same. Anaconda, I'm going to show you two versions. Again, remember my goal is to push this through. When I get to my headlock position, I want to push this arm through. Okay, I'm just going to grab my bicep. I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go for the rolling version. Okay, okay so I just bury my head in the armpit. My goal is to get car. Okay, on his left side, so when you roll, okay, and then I'm going to walk towards his feet. Again, one more time. <laughs> Good enough for him, Frank. Good enough for him. Okay, look. Okay, so this hand swings over to the shoulder. If this hand was in the hip, it was underneath. Okay, I'm going to bridge my hips back. Get okay, to this position here. Okay. Putting weight on it. So I've got a front head off position. Push the arm. Grab my bicep. Put my hand on the slats. Bury my head. 
got my foot on the mast, and they drive it long way up my left side. Yeah. This time. When I push this through, and I get my grip, I clamp this foot, the car pieces his leg up. So I can't roll him okay? But I can still get the anaconda if I get him on his left side. I'm basing with this knee when I take him onto his left side. So I just bring my foot up to stop the knee. Okay, once I get him onto his side, just walk towards the leg. Good try that.